Thanks for staying with us. Joining us is a Nigerian stand-up comedian, actor, our very own Okechuku, Anthony Onyegule, <laughs> probably known as Okebakas. He's also a, um, um, a TV and um, radio presenter and is our guest on the show. Please welcome with us Okebakas in the Inter building. Thank you, thank you, I like thank to you. call you also one of the champions of the obedience movement. <laughs> I, know you do, I know you carry it with pride. You know, you know what, was, what, was, what, was, what was interesting was that, mm -hmm. I mean, I listened to your radio show a lot and there was one that was saying, even before the whole primaries, you were like, mm -hmm. I don't even care if it is white, if it, I don't care what it is. We just cannot, we must just do somebody outside from the APC PDP. Yes. You know, you were very adamant that you don't want to know who, who they pick. That is the turn of the Southeast. I don't care who it is. Mm. Even if I, if not even, you know, I'm not paraphrasing. Yes. But whoever it is, let it just be from the Southeast. And I like the fact that you're very passionate about that. Um, let, let's, let, let, let's talk about it for a moment because I know we've tried to bring in um, a few people to come and speak on this and many of them for some reason they have a negative perception that oh it's TVC they run away I don't know so I'm happy that you're here today um, what are your thoughts I know I mean I, I, I'm an Igbo man yes. many people feel that okay all the parties should have zoned their presidential candidacy to the southeast many Nigerians feel that way yes. it's a fair thing to do but when you hit, listen to political calculations that these you know this region that region you now understand their own argument also what are your thoughts? Do you, did you feel disappointed that this whole presidency wasn't zoned to the southeast across all major parties? Yes, yes, I feel very, very disappointed. And let me give you a background. Um, I'm a very detribalized Nigerian. Mm. And I will tell you why. Uh, I started my primary school life in the north, Portiscum. It was then Borno yeah. State. Okay? <laughs> I lived in, uh, from there we moved to the east, and for a brief moment then we went to River State, where I completed my secondary education and university. From uh, River State, I came to Lagos for youth service, and I've been here 30 years. Mm. I'm an Igbo man, but I've lived in the east not up to five years mm. of my entire 50-something years' mm. life. So I've been in every other part of Nigeria, and I've called all those places home. So when I speak, I speak because of equity and fairness, mm. all right? And in my lifetime as an adult, I voted MK Abiola, I voted Yaradua, I voted Gulok Jonathan, I voted Udushe uh, 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 Gopasanjo. Okay. So I voted people from the three other main tribes mm. of Nigeria. Mm. I've never had an opportunity to vote for an Igbo man. Mm. And, I'm, and I'm aging, mm. you know? So it is only fair that at some point we give them a chance for whatever mm. it's worth. If we want them to have a sense of belonging. Imagine that you are in a family, you are the only daughter with many brothers. And any time it gets to your turn, they say, oh, let the boys vote. And the boys vote for another boy. Mm. And you're the only girl. You, it will never get to your turn. Mm. Mm. And they would say, oh, it's political permutation. If yeah. you know you're the only girl, if we'll select you now, uh, what of these other guys, they will not agree. Mm. Where is the fairness? Where is mm. the equity? That's a simple logic. Makes sense. You know, so that is it. All right. So I, I know I didn't want to. That was you didn't want to go there. Yeah. But, but yeah. I, I wanted to just just before we leave this yeah. political um, conversation, you yeah. you have spoken about. You did a post about um, yeah. regional <laughs> leadership, and oh yes, you did. I remember yes, that. You did a post about regional leadership, yeah. and you you were like, oh, this these three candidates we have, yeah. can we handle their religion and let's see, let's let everybody develop their area uh, individually. Mm. Um, some might see it as secessionist. Some might see it as we're not coming together as one Nigeria. And, you know, in the midst of all the crises we're facing, would you say that it's a right move to think in that line or to speak in that line? Yeah. You see, the thing is that it looks like the political class, mm. not the people, the political class are mortally scared of restructuring. Mm. Because we the people, we are down and out. Yes. And it that is down, fears no fall. Mm. You understand? Any system of government now you like experiments, the masses don't care. They're already mm. down. Mm. The only people who are scared are the political class. Mm. If we decide to give, the West has competent people. You know, if the West says, oh, we like uh, Bolatinibu or Yumiho Shibanjo, and they say, okay, let us, the Western region, let these great men manage that side. Mm. Let Pitobi or whoever manage the Southeast. If they want Atiku Abubakar and they not, let them manage these three regions. But let us even run okay, it for then, one okay, year. Okay, there's an argument. And after that, that let the only us, person that can Nigeria. actually, yeah. uh, there's an argument that the only person that can actually restructure this country yes. is Ashwaji Bola That even if a Peter Obi becomes president, yeah. there's a possibility that he might be impeached yeah. because they have a national assembly that, that is probably going to work against him. So the only person that has that national equity or that national spread mm. to be able to 
achieve that restructuring that you and I desperately mm. are will need yeah. is someone that has a national appeal like Ashwagandha. That thing is lacking in facts. Mm. <laughs> it's lacking in substance. Mm. Because Aswaju and the APC have been in power for seven years, mm -hmm. and they are mortally scared to even talk about it. Mm. And he's a party leader. He's refused to make any statement about it. Is it when you give him power that he's going to do something about it? He's in power already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I mean, that argument lack, lacks okay. merit. All right, yeah. let's switch now to <laughs> yeah. this other topic. I know Mariam is... Nima, you want to say something? Yeah. Should... No, no, no. Okay, so let's, let's move into the other matter, which I thought was really interesting. Um, because we can't have you here and not just take other things. Yeah, yeah. So there was the issue of, um, is it... Um, oh, talk let's now. talk about Joke the Joke Silva. Joke Silva. Joke Silva. Oh, yeah. Someone... Mm -hmm. Oh, oh yeah, the inheritance too, but let's do so Joke Silva because, okay. you know, we, we tend to talk about marriage a lot and, you know, they've said it over and over again, take care of your young wife, men are always abandoned when they are old, the wives would go and do a mugo mm. from one child's place to the other child's True. place and then you are lonely. True. So this person online now posted that Soso Breco says, mm. um, men, whatever you do, love and care for your wives. Side chicks won't be there at 75, 80. True. A good wife is a blessing, especially at the odd hours of your life. Exactly. Now, I, I, I'm praying that you live the next 60 years in good health. But you know, you're the oldest person on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, you and you're the chick? only man. Do you have a side chick? <laughs> so, I when we talk about you. side chickism, I have, I have two side chicks. <laughs> your daughters, I'm yes, sure. Yes, <laughs> I'm yes. sure that's what you're going to say. You know, so mm -hmm. what do you say about this? And all these are young men that are running mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. everything that's. No, I, you see, um, th there's a reason that. We never had our grandparents, depending on what age bracket you fall into, parents or grandparents, ever quarrel about side chicks or no side chicks. Because it, everything was about family, mm. all right? The, the man protected his family and his household, and the woman wanted the family as one unit to survive. The marriage institution is under attack. And because it's under attack, a lot of people are beginning to lose faith in the unit called family. Okay. That is why you see that a woman who is outside, who takes uh, crumbs from your table, you're threatened by that. You understand? When you're the one who controls the home front and all the resources thereof. Excuse me. Tread carefully, you. Uh, Tread carefully. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> this family is, yes. Sorry to interrupt. Yes. This family unit, are you talking of husband, wife? Husband, wife, and children. And that's side the, chicks that's, on that's the, the outside, the crumbs takers. No, no, you see... Why would the madam of the house who owns her territory okay. be scared of the unknown to the extent that is compromising the house? Okay. No, it never no, used to be a thing a, before. What if, what, if it was, what if it's not an unknown? Now, let, 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 me, let me tell you something. Mm. You know, there's a, women say men are dogs. Mm. Mm. Uh, but they, they make that reference with respect to their... Uh, sexual ex escapades. <laughs> but there's another quality of the dog that women don't highlight. Yeah, okay. It's the fact that the dog is loyal. Okay. All right? Mm -hmm. And that a dog, no matter the fact that the dog can bark and bite and can be very aggressive, mm. but to the one that loves the dog and the dog loves back is very docile and vulnerable. Mm. Mm. That when you rub the dog, it will roll over. I'm a dog lover. It will roll over, open the underbelly, you will, you will play wag its mm. tail. Now, what it simply means is that the, the thing needed to control the mumu button of any man is love. Mm. No matter how Jesus aggressive Christ. and arrogant he Where is. Where have you pushed this conversation? You understand? Wait, wait, so when, wait, when, wait, when, wait. when a man is loved, mm. you're, you're, you're the winner. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So Some of these men, we, people we'll accuse like of please going outside, they are doing this. Some use, of them are doing it for lack of love at home. Let's use your colleague. Wow. Uh, oops, um, yeah. And Joke Silva's marriage because now that you know, <laughs> mm. a lot of people have come, women have called men out. Mm. Before you start saying, see, we should copy Joke mm. Silva, ask what our Olu was in the beginning. Mm. And then one of your colleagues again now come from his own corner inside, mm. that's uh, Patrick Dodd, to come and say that uh, uh, Joke, whether or not Olu was a love, loving husband in mm. the beginning of their marriage, would still have been a loyal, um, caring wife in his old age for him, to him because she's not one of those making your call, shaking your call, shame group of women. There's women who say, "What will my husband? What can a man do? What will a man do?" You know, she's not. A, that, she doesn't belong to that philosophy of women who started to talk Which is about. What you just said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, 
I'm talking about you saying mm -hmm. loving, yes. Yes. loyal, yes. wait, Recipro reciprocating yes. Yes. what a man is, mm -hmm. is normal. Mm -hmm. But what a man, if a man is wicked, most women will say to them, and we, I hear it from, I'm from Niger, so I hear women say to him, if they carry them now, mm -hmm. when you don't hold, if the, if the consequence of side chicken, mm -hmm. chickenism come, mm -hmm. go and call them. Because, you know, the, there's this tradition in my place where when the man is now sick, whether the man was ever kind to you, they'll say, be a good wife. Mm. And, you know, a woman who is bitter from all that experience, so, that he never left her, right. might not find that thing easy. Yeah. And so we're, and we're watering it down with this conversation of yeah. this. It doesn't matter because some mm. women don't belong there. But right. for, so, for most women, it okay. really matters. Yeah, you see, my, my, my attitude to these issues of... You know, if whatever you do, sometimes in the future you pay the price when you're old. Mm. You see, anybody who will catalog all your wrongdoings and use it to punish you Yo, later, the person is wicked. Ah, uh, uh, no, 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 the uh, person is, is, is wicked. But you sow seed. Mm -mm, no, hold the person on. will yeah. sow. You cannot yeah. sow oranges and want to come yeah. and rip apples. You know, you, uh, know uh. Why, you know why? If you're not a wicked person, naturally, mm. there's also a virtue called forgiveness. Oh, geez. You understand? There's also a virtue called forgiveness. People wow. should be able to forget and move on. Now, if at the time that all these things were being committed, you feel you can't deal with it, there's always an option. Me. That option is to leave then. Mm -hmm. But if you don't want to leave, you want to stay back so that you can take your pound of flesh. That means you've been harboring wickedness okay. for like years. You just said years. that we should not worry about the side irrelevant chick outside. No, no, what, yeah. Let me tell you what, what you are missing. It's, it's the woman thing. who doesn't worry about the side chick outside because she's inside, she's yes. minding her business, she no. just might be counting it yeah. and be thinking. I'm planning ahead. You, not just to forgive you, but you be remorseful. And most men, Nigerian men, and they don't no. address their misgivings. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me also say that I am not holding brief for any man who is living that life. But you are. Is condemnable. Okay. You can't come into somebody's life and be a very negative influence. Be wicked, be mean. In fact, if I'm a woman and you're a man, you're like that to me, maybe leaving you will be an option. Mm -hmm. I don't think I want to wait till when you're very old and useless to me mm -hmm. to now begin to show you all these yes. things. I have this beautiful life to live. And I'm not going to leave it in a very toxic environment. Mm. You understand? Yes. So for so me, I'm happy that, that even yeah. went there because I was going to say that yeah. whether we like it or not, sir, mm. there are many young men looking up to you. And yeah. when men sit here, especially because we're all women, when a yeah. man sits here, the men listen even more yeah. closely. Yeah. And at the beginning, I thought you were holding brief no, for no, 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 no. someone who can have a family unit, wife, and then have people outside. Taking crumbs. So I understand what you just said about a woman. Um, having the choice and option of living if yeah. the situation is toxic. Yeah. Yeah. Also, we're talking of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. But whether we like it or not, mm -hmm. as much as there's empowerment with mm -hmm. women, we have a large um, situation where women are dependent on men for yeah. just finances, mm -hmm. the children's upbringing and welfare. And so they find themselves staying in that marriage, even though they're unhappy with some of the things that the man does. So yes, mm -hmm. as in you, let's use your dog. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a protector, mm -hmm. he provides, mm -hmm. but he's still going out back and forth. Mm -hmm. And that also affects the marriage. So what would you say to young men mm -hmm. listening to you today? Oh, yeah. so, How would you organize yourself? Because not too long ago, we had an actor who brought in a second wife yeah. and tried to justify it, even though the first wife is unhappy about it. Um, first of all, we need to understand that we exist in a complex society, mm. okay. all right? In this same Nigeria that we are all talking about, my friends in the North can have five, uh, four wives, and it's not a problem, it's not a crime. Their wives are happy. Yeah. And they are Nigerians as well. They are women, they are same gender. It's not a problem. Then you take a few, a flight of one hour down south. If, if an OK does it, it's a, oh, all the women are now up okay in arms. Now OK talks him, no good. Yeah, 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 now all the women now are now up okay in arms. Yeah, because of religion. Mm -hmm. So does a man in the south have to denounce his religion to qualify to have four wives and have them peacefully? Sir, you are holding no, brief. No, 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 no. These are the simple realities on ground. You are holding okay? brief for polygamy? No. You are holding brief. Poly polygamy has not been anybody's problem until we made it a problem. Chai. Our ancestors lived with it peacefully, and nobody had their voice, until we decided by our own that, you know what, let us do one man, one wife. Mm. 
all right? And when we decided to do one man, one wife, some people are not doing it, some people are doing it. Mm -hmm. And this, you here now, if you hear that my Muslim brother is living with four wives, you won't condemn it, it will be okay. Mm -hmm. so not, I don't woman. want it. You think that the women in the north are so happy about it? They are not, but it's well, not I, I may not women. peace. I mean, I mean, I may not happy it. and at peace yeah. with one wife. Was it not cumbersome no, to have, have more I'm than one? I'm a man that is married to one wife. Okay, I'm a man that is married to one wife. And I'm happy being married to one wife. And I have my family. I work for my family. I stay with my family. I respect my wife a lot. But I also need to encourage people to stop digging. Because, you see, life, this life be like water. If mm. they give you to drink, drink. If you look too much, you see particle. Yes. Mm. You understand? Don't go investigating people. Because if they beam such light on you as well, they will find yes, fault. Well, of While for some women, a deal breaker will be your husband going out. Do you know that some, for some men, you going out may not be their deal breaker. It may just be you mismanaging their resources mm -hmm. that they work so hard to keep. Okay. Everybody mm. has their deal breaker. Mm. You know, some men do their best to keep their home happy. But some wives will not stay away from phone and investigation and devices until you find something that will anger you. Then the man becomes the wrong one. People should just stay in one place. There was something you started with that I like. With I'm that. not encouraging anybody to go and be. Yeah. <laughs> you will not throw caveats. There was something, there was something you said earlier that I like, us, I like you to touch on a bit yeah. more. You said it's all about the family and happy. Yes. You know, so if you're in your home with your husband, don't mm. worry about those taking the crumbs. Yeah. But sometimes a crumb becomes demanding bread because they are now mm. sharing resources. So it mm. affects you. So as much as you like to close your eyes, we do there. I don't, I don't, as long as you don't come here, I'm Thank fine. Thank you. The crumb but becomes Your resources your, is now divided into two. And there's a cost to it. So how does a woman in this situation manage? Because, oh, I mean, how, that's my, that's my, that's you, you my see, worry. see, the narrative is very confusing for men. All right? Because the same social media that you, you, you all share, we all share. So somebody is a baby mama. And people are saying, ah, she shouldn't have done that. Then all the women jump to her support and say, ah, it's okay to be a single mother. Da, 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 da. Well, she can live her life. What if marriage does not work? Does it mean that? Baby mama is somebody's, another person's uh, lover been... impregnating another person. Mm. At, that point, that point, another... yeah, at, at that point, people begin to suffer amnesia. I'm with you. I'm with you. Mm. People begin I'm to suffer you. amnesia. I'm and uh, you. it's okay mm. for her to be a baby mama. Mm. But it's somebody's uh, own partner that is responsible for that. Just mm. to hold... You know, so we can't always have it both, both ways. Mm. I'm, I'm with you on this one. Yeah. <laughs> but just to hold the other side of this yeah. crumb taking women. Mm. Mm. Thank you. Know? you. When a woman works so hard, like me now, I started with my husband. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing. Mm -hmm. Everything, I'm there from the Struggling. beginning. Struggling. Yeah. And you know, I am Muslim, so I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm. I believe that whatever is my share is what I'm entitled. Mm -hmm. But you know, when, what women cannot understand is after putting in all the work, one woman is somewhere. Maybe in the name of another wife, mm -hmm. who's not ready to work anything. Mm, but she's fully entitled to, mm. to your sweat okay. that you have worked with that man. And because me, I'm even Muslim, I have no say. Mm. So maybe what I separate for myself now that I'm working in my own assets is what I get. But what I jointly work with my husband, mm. when he has, if he has two from me, five from that woman, mm. equal. Mm. You know? Two women, the two wives get half half. That's mm -hmm. what we get. So when it comes to inheritance, women mm -hmm. just cannot understand mm -hmm. how their labor should be equally given. You, yeah. you don't say that side chick figure born. Yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That side chick when she come, that picking when she born, so that child too gets inheritance. Right, equal rights. And they're wondering, ah ah. How did answer, they just elevate your status like that? My answer to that. Mm -hmm. I'm a very practical person. Mm -hmm. Please. I don't like to dwell on emotions mm. because we can be here and sound all politically correct yes. and people will still be suffering outside. Yes. Yes. I like to be very practical. I am in support of women empowerment to the extent that every young girl, before you plunge into marriage, should be able to develop yourself to the point where you have something doing. Absolutely. Where you can earn a decent income. Mm -hmm. Or where you know basic money management. Mm -hmm. So that from blast off in marriage, you can manage resources. Mm -hmm. If your husband is bringing 10 cobble, you can use five and save five for the rainy day. Mm -hmm. For the day that they say one girl from outside has come. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows. Yes. All right? Plan your life, organize your life, be self-sufficient, be independent, so that nothing takes you by surprise. Mm. That is life. You know, some of those people here, yeah, you say, oh, they are side jigs, they are the ones picking crumbs. 
Sometimes they are the ones bringing the resources that, that is feeding you. Hey. Hey. Well, sometimes. You don't, sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. you don't know. But I want to talk, I I want to, talk to the I women. The men. Because they tell, we, when we have conversations like this, you know, we're always women talking about it. So when we have you here, it's important mm -hmm. that we send you, you, you help us deliver some of these messages. Because yeah. we get a lot of comments from people saying that mm -hmm. my husband said I should not work. My husband said I should take care of oh, the children. My husband saying this. Mm -hmm. And we, we tell people to listen. You know, and manage the home. Yeah. But you, we are also here speaking on empowerment. So can you help us talk to the men oh, yes. who are saying my wife should sit down at home? Any, any man who is saying the wife should sit down and, I mean, uh, women are half of the population. Sure. So once you render a woman inactive, you're shortchanging society. Mm. You and you're shortchanging yourself. No matter how many billions you make, it's not an excuse for your wife to be a, a, one of your domesticated animals or you just keep her at home as a piece of furniture. Because the truth of the matter is that you can't play God. Anything can happen, you're no longer there. You want to leave those resources in the hands of a woman who knows how to manage resources. Mm. And she's not gonna learn it when you're not there. She's not gonna learn it overnight. Mm. Those experiences come from her doing something and knowing how to manage resources. So even if you're a billionaire, mm. I, me, I believe, that a woman should be working, a woman should be doing okay. stuff. That, so, because because it's okay, and we're trying to get as much information yeah. from you yeah. before you yeah. leave. Yeah. I was going to switch it, but you want to say something? Yes, I yeah. just wanted to add. You. you know, there's this thing that they also say to young women, they'd be like, um, meet a man before he becomes anything. So, mm -hmm. uh, we'll even see pictures mm -hmm. of our celebrities that are doing well today, and then they'll show the pictures of when they met the girl. Mm -hmm. She did not have anything, he didn't have anything, and she loved him then. Mm -hmm. And we praise her and tell, you know, show her as an example to other women. Mm. Then he's now this celebrity and now decides that he wants a side chick. So what is the guarantee for the woman that stays with a man? Let me just find the rich man. Yes. 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 Let me look for that the rich man. she will go on to be with this man. And this man will sort of pay her back for loving him when he didn't have nothing. Yeah, <laughs> you know, what I, what I say is human beings, we are very dynamic. As we get older, we change Character, mm -hmm. all right. You know, for example, some men want to marry a woman who is docile and submissive. So it's like buying a puppy. The puppy will eventually grow into a big dog. Yes. <laughs> you understand? It won't be that puppy every day that you're saying di -di 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 kitty 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 yes. kitty. One day it becomes a wild beast in your house. All right, because same thing with marrying a man. Mm. People will change. People will grow. Mm. So if you met my wife and I, my wife was my girlfriend when I was in year one. Yeah, we wow. eventually married years after. Mm -hmm. We have our own fair share of challenges. Mm -hmm. We have arguments like every other couple. We disagree, we agree. I would say the only thing that came from us meeting that early is that in, in my head, this woman knew me before I became okay, Bakasi. Mm -hmm. You understand? So when she says, shut up, you idiot, you, I don't get angry. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because she knows me, right? you know me when I don't be anybody. There's nothing she does that will mm -hmm. feel disrespected. Okay. That is the one thing that comes out right. of it. Mm -hmm. But have we become different beings from way back then? For sure. Absolutely. We've become different people. Let me... So don't leave anything in the hands of another person. They mm -hmm. can change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Empower That's yourself, that. grow yourself. Show love. That's a good thing to hold on to. Yeah. Show, I like, show I like love. That. Just do your best. Let's talk about inheritance yeah. because our president said he's not going to give, leave any inheritance for his children. Yeah. Uh, and we try to bring that to ourselves because we all earn this so much and our children go abroad and we build these things and there's nobody to, mm. you know, all, they all live abroad, they graduate and yeah. they just want to live there. Yeah. And you, are, you you've worked so hard, you have your hustling. So yeah, think it's yourself. Yeah. Should we have this new mentality that we shouldn't be living to? Inherit, give anything, any inheritance to any child anymore, especially in this, this new world that we're living in. Okay. Now, if, do you want me to answer that thing honestly? Yes, honestly. Okay. Yeah. Um, if that statement was coming from any other Nigerian, then I would analyze it deeper. Okay. But coming from President Buhari, who has left no inheritance for Nigerians. <laughs> so I'm not surprised he's not going to leave any for his children. You yeah, understand what I'm saying? And that's why I'm asking you. Okay, let's oh, I've not known that. the messenger. I've not let's known focus that on the message. Don't leave anything for anybody. Uh -uh, you don't try for yeah, agriculture. Don't try for agriculture. Yeah, now. So don't, if he does not heavy. leave for his children, it oh, would be a surprise. You don't they leave inheritance. Yeah. Lagos is about the express way. It's better. They build they build they are building it. It's yeah, living yeah, inheritance yeah, for us. Leave that one. Yeah. Leave campaign. I'm not campaigning. Don't say that. I'm just saying that. Is it is it because it's but if it's a Mariah that is Talking no. now, okay. I will say to you that th there's what is called <laughs> family wealth, all right? There's what is called family wealth. And wise people all over the world 
create what they call family wealth. It stays in the family. It goes from generation to generation. In Africa, our simple system is land inheritance, mm. where my grandfathers left land for my father. My father left it for us. That is inheritance. Mm -hmm. So how can you it say you're not going to yeah. leave anything for your children? Your children down, you they live in Spain. Now, my children also will inherit. Mm -hmm. It's up to them what they want to do with it. If they want to come back from abroad to take it or sell it or use it for anything, mm. that is their inheritance. Whatever I am today, whatever I'm what, I'm not going to go to the grave with it. Mm. Whatever I leave behind, the children yeah. take. It's common sense. Mm -hmm. You know, but coming yeah. from a man who is known not to know? give anything to anybody, <laughs> I can't well, argue I with that. I agree with you because for me, I always feel it's a privilege. It comes from a place of privilege. It's yes. only rich people that can say, I'm not leaving inheritance. Because yeah. their whole life already has been padded. You don't so empower the children you already now. Yeah. They already they are okay. that they're well, able to fall okay. back okay. Let, yeah. Let's talk about it seriously. Oh, yeah. When you hear um, abroad, when you hear from, I'm, I'm a law graduate, and when Ooh. we read from presidents, people talk about living. Um, inheritance. Mm. They go, they put up trust, mm. they're researching. Mm. If a family, I think there was one, the family, I think, mm. was cerebral palsy or something, or an accident that affected the man neck down, and his entire estate was used for the research, the drug, the, you know, the yeah. process, free medical care, up in history till date. And you see some foundations like that, the MacArthur Foundation, yeah. these are people's Old estates. Yes. So when, when we hear Nigerians talk about inheritance, it's about Yoromi Ogodo Toshimo. As I go amass this wealth yeah. such that now only my direct bloodline, no? mm. we don't see inheritance any other way except it's yeah. along my bloodline. Yeah. Yeah. It's not for the good of humanity. We don't, when we say good of humanity, it's about our chieftaincy won't club, one, whatever circle that we belong in. We don't really understand it the way it should be about, you know, a person's, you know, humanity. Living beyond yourself. Touching, yourself. touching lives. That's yes. touching lives. different from that of that you're uh, uh, Even our meaning of touching lives, mm. if you get as it be, mm. you know. So uh, how do you see this, our mentality? And it's more among this political yeah. class, the elites, so that people are taking what they don't need mm. that belongs to the entire, to a larger number of wealth mm. for, for their own generation. You know, in, in, in fairness to our people, so that it doesn't look like, mm. you know, we don't do all that. Mm. In, in fairness to Nigerians, Africa has a traditional welfare system mm -hmm. where each one touches one. Mm -hmm. Extended family members that you give scholarships, people that you train, people lives that you touch, house helps. You know, we have no one man makes money in, in Africa, in Nigeria, and keeps all of that to mm. himself. Mm -hmm. There are always hangers on, mm -hmm. you know, those who you touch their lives. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like e every successful Nigerian is a working NGO already. Mm -hmm. You understand? Touching so many lives. Mm -hmm. Even when you live under minimum wage, that's people true. still come to your house yes, to eat their bags. Yes, you know, yeah, you know yeah, so, so we, we do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We may not do it on the scale that all these other people who yeah, probably don't yeah, do anything yeah, yeah. For, co uh, for communities well, yeah, and yeah, they just give yeah. to charity. Yeah. Here, charity is part of your lineage. Your life, you understand? So <laughs> that, that let us not, you know, exactly. lay down that one. We do on, that on as social well. media. We, we oh, please, that. I wanted, okay. to, I wanted to talk about the inheritance. I haven't uh, given an opinion because I feel that when it comes to inheritance, um, especially from the wealthy people, mm. like Mariam um, um, alluded to, yeah. it's a case of what perpetuating you know, from one generation, this wealth going to the next one, when in actual fact we should build resilience in children. Mm -hmm. So it's a case, um, if I'm telling my children, I don't, I, like I, do, I say, I don't owe you a trip abroad. If I give you, it is bonus. Mm -hmm. What I owe you is good education so you can afford it consistently. Yes. And we must begin to raise students so that they don't have that feeling of, my father has house in... My father's house in Yaba. My father's house in... Yaba, yes. my father's house in Abuja, my great grand, my father's house. So you are listing your father's property like when they go. Mm. I don't need to walk up to. I have my parents have several houses in Lagos. I'll just stay in one of them. That that for me yeah. is a problem. And some people they still live in, they marry into their parents' house and continue like that because they never had that thoughts. But if you've told your children that all these things you are seeing is not for you, yeah, but parents leave the unconsciously house. create that situation. Mm -hmm. Parents unconsciously create that situation where you raise dependent adults. Mm. You understand? Because this whole idea of, you know, 
Your child wants to write jump. You organize people to write jump for the child. Uh -huh. Your it's child so wants boring. to go for That's interview. You're making calls to all your friends to say, it's give the, the child a job. Mm. They've never written a CV before. They've God not bless you. Files. Thank you for taking you know, me there. Yeah. Don't, I'm sure you guys get that all the so time. Mm. We're sending us messages. Mm. Please, oh, your sister hey. wants to do interns. And I say, have you checked the TVC website? Mm. Have you she seen this application? They won't. They just want me to say, come. Yeah. Come on, Apple. Come and resume tomorrow. It doesn't work that way. help your children like that. That's not helping You're not helping your children. Some, some, some successful men are very intentional about that. They let their children learn the ropes the hard way. Mm -hmm. Then people say, oh, they are stingy. You understand? They are mm -hmm. stingy. You get this money, you allow your children to like suffer. Like you, yeah, you want them to. <laughs> you want them to. <laughs> okay, but I see. Me, personally, all my kids, and I'm not saying it because I'm on TV, mm -hmm. all my kids from high school, I mean, the, the first two daughters, the, the last one is still very young. My, my first two daughters, they, when, once they get into high school, they go to high school and they go work at a burger joint after school mm -hmm. to earn their own small, small cobble cobble. Yeah. The reason I do that is not because I can't be sending them pocket money from mm -hmm. Nigeria. Mm -hmm. I want them to understand the value of money. Absolutely. I want them to learn patience, that you have to wait till the end of the week or two weeks or one month, mm -hmm. then your employer pays you. I want them to learn how to be answerable to people, to say good morning, sir. Then you answer small mm -hmm. query, why are you late to work? Yeah. These are trainings that I can't give them at home. Yeah. that they can only learn from outside. Mm -hmm. And that is why I let them do it. And I find that as, as they do it, the one, one, the one that is in the university now, she got into the university, I didn't have to tell her. Immediately she got into school, she started looking for work. Mm. And I said, I said, I want you to focus year one. And she said, no, dad, my have expenses, I, I have things to do, and the money I'm getting is not enough. Yeah, I need something to argument. <laughs> so she's working already, going to uni. She's doing well with her grades. She's learned how to survive on her own already. That. Yeah. The second one is towing behind. Then their last brother is eager. He's always <laughs> disturbing us. When, when can I get a job? We say, yeah. okay, wait till you're 16. Mm. You know, so we have to give this, in addition to giving them education, we have to inculcate these survival values. Because these Gen Z people, they are smarter than us. Yes. They are more intelligent. They have information coming at the speed of light. What they don't have is raw survival skills mm. in the real life. Absolutely. And parents oh, must be intentional you. to teach that. Oh, Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Comments on social media? Yeah, we have plenty. Oh, yeah, wow. so wow. Baby Dele. Are giving you Heineken. Yes, Heineken. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take all of them. Why Heineken? <laughs> I'll take all of them. <laughs> okay, take J I am JJ says, okay, yeah. Baka Bakasi, you have done justice to this topic, to this question, yes, to some of us. Yeah. Polygamy is not an option, but let people live their lives. And, um, Onome Wekesi says, okay, Bakasi, thank you for saying, this, saying it as it is. One, I cannot cry anything. <laughs> men, 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 like, <laughs> yeah, this kind of. Okay, we have yeah, so, <laughs> I want to, please, you, you said, you, just, just yeah. something you alluded to that I'll just talk about. Mm. Um, we've spoken about international relationships. Okay. I call them, like, international relations. What do you say about it? You know this idea of one person with Jack you ship your wife abroad, mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. husband is here. Somebody is belly janyoing somewhere, you know. <laughs> but we just feel like it's okay. What What do you think about it? Yeah, uh, long you speak here, uh, 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 You understood it. I didn't get more belly janyoing. Oh, you didn't get it. Oh, yeah. they are yeah. helping somebody I'm, to roast the. Uh, I've yeah. been, yeah. I've been living here for thirty years. I understand <laughs> a bit of it. I don't speak yeah. fluently. The <laughs> mistake is that I didn't date a Yoruba girl for long when I came. <laughs> so maybe by now I would have been. So, anyways, one thing about long distance relationships. I will not advise anybody to go and try you. Mm. It's very, very dangerous. It's very, very delicate. You know, um, my situation, I've been in a long-distance relationship for a very long time. And it's unique, okay? Um, my situation is not your own. Mm. So if you go and copy me, me, me your own may well, just collapse. Your wife lives abroad. Yeah, my wife and my children live abroad. And the reason is, when we married, we, we married here in Nigeria. And for the first few years of our marriage, we were here together. We had the first two, uh, two kids. Yeah. You know, yeah, we conceived them here, though they were born mm. abroad. Okay? But my wife's entire family is in Canada. Okay. So at the time, she became homesick. Yeah. All right? Dad, mom, siblings are all there. And she was like, I need to be close to my family as well. Makes and I, I said, okay, fine. So at the time, we were lucky to buy a house next door to my mother-in-law. So my... My next door neighbor is my in-laws, oh, my yeah. parents in, in Canada. So, in Canada. Yes. You know, so uh, when she's not at work, my father-in-law, when, she, when he was kids, alive, yeah. would just walk over and stay with the grandchildren. Oh, so, you know, when you're but next door... But how are you managing in Nigeria without her? Yeah, so living in Nigeria here without her is one of the toughest things in my life. 
The lonely, during COVID, well, I almost, I almost well, went, Let me I, ask the next question. I almost, <laughs> I almost, I almost went Let mad. me ask the question you in my head. So you have to go. Who is you have to, who is who was Bella Joyon? Who was Bella Bella How often do you go home? Yeah, I I go three times a year. So please, years, so who's so. Bella Janoy? Bella Janoy is hosting the fish. Who is hosting the fish? Why are you asking? Why are you asking? <laughs> asking? She, she has grandma. She, she, she has father, mommy, 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 mommy dad, dad, children. My own parents are here too. Your color was not The person you call now. Everybody is Bella Janoy. Everybody is Bella Janoy. Thank you so much. Okay, basket. It's a pleasure having you. Yeah, well. Thank you. We're going to bring you back because. Um, we always enjoy having you. Yeah, I enjoy being here to you ladies. That's all we can take on the show. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.